Welcome to the business coach. I show you Nietzsche out help entrepreneurs <laughs> better their businesses. My name is Ian Dennis and today on the show we'll be exploring the poultry business. As you can see I'm in a poultry farm and I'll be meeting up with entrepreneurs who have been trying to make ends meet out of this particular business. On the first half of the show I'll be meeting up with a gentleman named James who runs a poultry business and later on I'll be linking him up to Mr. Caleb Karuga, a former journalist turned agribusiness entrepreneur. So welcome to the show. James, I feel overdressed being here. <laughs> we are at your farm, the poultry farm. So I wanted just to find out, how did you get into this business? Well, uh, welcome to the farm. And uh, you see that this is how a farm yes, looks like. Yes, you guys have given me a coat. So next time, yeah, we'll, so <laughs> next time we'll make sure it is uh, well uh, taken care of. Next time. Yeah, uh -huh. but uh, our farm, as you can see, is um, uh, it's in the, in the growth uh, I would say it's a, a growing because we started uh, with the with the 500 chicken mm -hmm. and we have been able to grow the farm to roughly approximate uh, 3,000 uh, bands. Where did this interest come about? Because I know you're in the corporate world. How did this interest come about? I think the interest uh, uh, is uh, is uh, some of the skills I learned uh, when I was young. Uh, soft skills, uh, attending to my my parents. Uh, Bats. They used to keep oh, broilers, but not oh. layers. Mm -hmm. But me, I've now taken it a bit notch higher. Uh -huh. <laughs> Again, uh, you know, things change and market demands. So where we are, uh, the broilers, I do, uh, we do broilers, and layers are easily available markets. So how I balance between the two? I'm actually not uh, on the ground. There is the person on the ground who is uh, the, the farm itself is run by my wife Anita. So she is the one who follows up on a day-to-day -day operation of the farm with the help of the staff, uh, majoring now in uh, layers and uh, broiders. So how do you go about it? Because you told me you're in the corporate world. So give me, may you take me, what do you do exactly? Myself, I'm a, an IT engineer by profession uh, and, and I work for a company, one of the leading big company in this uh, town. Uh, but however, in terms of even working on that, uh, is uh, what we call work-life balance. So the interests uh, that I cultivated to my wife to start this farm, um, I, I support her in terms of um, what, you'd, what you'd call um, uh, research and uh, standard operating procedure. You know, I carry so from there. So you carry your the corporate work. Exactly. <laughs> For the audiences, even for me exactly, when I see chicken, I just see chicken. I just know there's a cock and there's a hen. So this is cool. You're telling me you guys are dealing in broilers. What exactly are broilers and what exactly is the business model behind it? A broiler is a chicken kept purely for meat. That is what you consume in the first uh, for the chicken. Is actually... Uh, oh, the, the ones that you see, the naked chicken. So those are the, the broilers. Mm -hmm. When we come to the layers, mm -hmm. that's what you exactly now. Dealing. Yes, this is what we are dealing with. Uh, layers are purely kept for laying a neck. Okay, so as you look at it, here there is no cock, mm -hmm. but they lay. I know you may ask me, w what's the magic? <laughs> yeah, because just cool me, <laughs> and the audience is out there. So huh? This particular breed of a chicken is actually um, a breed that is, um, how do I put it? Uh, it's core work or uh, basically just lays as long as you feed it to the right. It's a hybrid. Exactly, it's a it's hybrid. It's mutant somewhere. Yes, yes. It muted so it will not require a cock for it to produce. Mm -hmm. I mean uh, to, 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 to basically to produce a, a neck. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. So what they lay, we call them unfertilized eggs. Mm -hmm. Because you just feed them 
they live. And they live. Exactly. Oh, interesting. What the Kienyeji does, mm -hmm. now those are fertilized eggs. Fertilized eggs. Those these are, are unfertilized. Exactly. Interesting. At least I've learned something here. So the business model behind uh, the business is about now you guys selling eggs. Yes. The poultry business. To succeed in the poultry business, here are three important factors to be put into consideration. One, the business model. Do you want to rear broilers which are reared for meat, layers which are reared for eggs or set up a hatchery? Regardless of whichever model you choose, ensure that you have sufficient knowledge and infrastructure to sustain the business. Two, disease control. Chicken are prone to diseases, therefore ensuring that they are vaccinated and within controlled environments do go a long way in minimizing the risks. And finally, three, light management. This forms an important element of the business, more so in the early phases as they grow to maturity. Ensure that you have proper lighting within the infrastructure set for the chickens. So take me through the cost structure of this business. So I'm seeing they're eating at the moment, they're always constantly feeding. Yes. So what exactly is the cost structure that's within this business? Good. Of course there will be feeds, mm -hmm. the water, this, uh, the water, and basically the, the, the labor involved in day-to-day -day managing of this. Mm -hmm. And of course uh, things like lighting, security, and all that. Mm -hmm. So when you do all those costs, you have to understand what is the cost of feeding this chicken to produce one egg. So what's the Basically, cost? that now comes yeah. to your cost of production right. of a, an egg. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, the cost of our production is uh, uh, five shillings, four to five shillings and fifty cents. Mm -hmm. That is now when you say this chick every day has fed. Uh, so every day, a chick is supposed to feed uh, 125 grams mm -hmm. of this uh, feed. Right. So that's how now you equate how much is the cost on feed. And of course, uh, you can always uh, base the watering system based on how much you pay per. So when you put those costs together, cost yeah. of feeding, yeah. uh, cost of any, if there is a vaccination, but if these are done, I mean, uh, not every day, they are periodic or one of cost, it's a period. Uh, the cost of, currently our cost of producing is five shillings. Or per particular five. chicken. And just as any other business, you guys need to go out and market. So how do you guys go about it? How, how do you go targeting your clientele? You told me the bakery, the schools. How do you guys go about it? Uh, like I said, if you produce something good you'll, and you sell to you, you'll always tell your friend that. Eh? So currently, we don't go aggressively uh, going to the market. The market, uh, the custo our customer base out of, is out of referral. What are some of the challenges you faced in your business? What are some of the, uh, the ch obstacles you face day to day yeah. in the business? quality feeds. You can come and tell me uh, um, I'm from uh, this company and I'm selling you this bag of uh, feeds for X amount. Okay? Even cheaper than, you know, like now, it's like everyone, for you to sell, you have to be competitive in yes. pricing. And they come and, you know, they will lure you because of their competitive in pricing. But when you feed your, your chicken, you realize Either there will be some anomalies in terms of the, the size of the egg. So you can buy uh, feeds very cheaply, but when you come and feed your oh, chicken, they, they yeah, produce goes, very small. You get, you find someone else is selling uh, at a premium, mm -hmm. but the quality of that uh, feeds produces big size of the egg. Mm -hmm. And just finally, as you told me, Anita Farm, mm -hmm. named after your wife, yes. what are some of the aspirations you guys do have for the next couple of years? So the next time I'm coming here, what exactly will I see? I'm looking at it that we'll be offering opportunities to young people, not only to work, but also to learn and also become entrepreneurs. Interesting. After the break, I'll be linking up James to one of the most established uh, entrepreneurs in this poultry business, Mr. Caleb Karuga. So keep it right here on The Business Coach, where we help entrepreneurs better their business.